Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code by weekly contest 112. Ah, an easy one. In fact, the first one and the second one are the same. Uh, you just need to generalize the code for the second one and that works for the first one as well. But yeah, let's see what it is asking us to do. So the problem name is check if strings can be made equal with operation one. Okay. So it says that you are given two strings S1 and S2, both of length four, right? So here the length is fixed consisting of lowercase english letters okay you can apply the following operations on any of the two strings any number of times okay so choose any two indices i and j such that j minus i equals to 2 okay then swap the two characters at those indices in the string return true if you can make the string s1 and s2 equal and false otherwise okay so you are given two strings of length 4 right so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 what we can do choose any two indices i comma j such that j minus i equals to 2 that means if you choose this one then you need to choose this one right that means these two can be swapped similarly these two can be swapped or i can say this is this this is position 1 position 2 position 3 position 4 right so in short it says that since the length is fixed here it says that you can swap the characters at uh, odd positions and character at even positions right so you can do that in both the strings whatever you want to do do that ultimately your aim is to tell that after doing these operations any number of times is it possible to make the two strings equal so let's see this so this is a b c d a b c d the second one is c d a b c d a b okay so what happens if we swap these two it becomes c b a d and and then swap these two it becomes c d a b and this is what we wanted right we are not bounded by how many times we can perform that operation and obviously logically here uh, you can you, you just perform you know you choose two positions right like one and three you just perform swap one time there is no need to perform the swap more than one time because what will happen if you choose position one and through three you swap them so it becomes three and one right i mean the character here uh, the characters are swapped right now again if you swap them it becomes one three what i mean to say if you swap them odd number of times they are swapped if you swap even number of times you get the original uh, position of the characters right so ultimately that's the problem so in short in short what can i say i either i can choose the two positions to swap or i can just skip it right that is what we need to do so can i say can i say that like for example here at the first position i have a and here I have C. So I have A, I have C. Here I at the first position I have C and I have A. Right? Now if I have the same set of characters, right? Then obviously after swapping they will become same, right? Here I have A and C, here I have C and A. So I can do anything. I can swap these two, it becomes AC. So AC, AC becomes equal. Or I can swap these two, it becomes CA. So CA, CA becomes equal, right? What I mean to say, you just need to check that if you have the same set of characters, right? then that means it is possible to convert this string right so see that you have the same set of characters in odd positions and same set of characters in even position simple and that works here right let's choose this thing so you have a b c d so you have a and c right these are the characters in the uh, odd positions and characters at even positions are these right for the first string for the second string it is d a c b so for odd position it is d and c d and c and it is a and b now just see no matter however you swap character a and c will remain a and c only maybe their positions change but a and c will not become d and c right so that means it is not possible to convert this string into the other one so that is why you return false right this is what the problem is asking us to do now this is more of an implementation based problem because once you go with the observation that yeah i just need to check the you know same set of characters there are multiple ways to do so right um i chose one of the ways again this was this is a contest right so i i chose the fastest way that came to my mind now just see what we are doing this is the main function i take two list okay why i take two list because uh there will be two set of so there will be a set of characters for the first string a set of characters for the second string right uh maybe even maybe odd right so i do that two times this is for you know uh, you can call it odd positions and this is for even positions right so ultimately what i do l1 contains the set of characters maybe even maybe odd initially i take odd so 
it contains set of characters for s1 this one for s2 okay so you just find the length i goes from 0 to less than n i plus equals to 2 right so what i do l1 dot add s1 dot care of i l2 dot add um, l2 dot add s2 dot care of uh, care at i right now i have made a utility function that you pass these two lists and it will tell whether the characters are same or not so what i do i just sort them and if they are same set of characters so after sorting the two lists should have the you know same characters at the same positions right so uh, if l1 dot get of i is not equal to l2 dot get of i you return false what i mean to say suppose one list is ac second list is ca so if you sort them it becomes ac this also becomes ac so you know at same position you should have same set of characters right so that is i return false if there is a mismatch else return to great now if they if this returns false then that means they cannot be converted right if any set of characters if we are not able to convert it we return false then we take the even positions now just see it is starts from i equals to one and i plus equals to two here it started from zero here it is starting from one what i mean to say one two three four five suppose these are the characters so first pick these characters and then pick these characters okay so again do the same thing just compare it and finally return true if both the conditions are satisfied for even and odd positions then you return true or even if one of them fails you return false right now remember here this is the first problem of the contest and here we just have four characters this code is basically something that works for the second problem as well for the same contest right uh, so the same thing will work here there the difference is um, that the length is n and j minus i equals to 2 uh, right this is not the condition rather the condition is that j minus i is a is an even number right that's the only difference and this works right so yeah i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up thumbs up do subscribe to the channel uh, let me know in case you have any issues related to the solution uh, i'll revert on each one of them okay thank you take care Bye bye